Yo, you already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Paul Boy Sin. The Paul don't stand for Paul. Straight, straight from the media gallery. But as you guys can see real quick, you know what I'm saying? This is when my Power 4 was not upgraded. You know what I'm saying? Just to show you guys again. This is when my Power 4 scoring machine was not upgraded. Just to show you guys. And I don't have interior defense on this build as well. So it doesn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? By the looks of the title, we about to give you guys some raw gameplay. Showing you guys that interior defense does not mean nothing on NBA 2K21 next gen. Now, it's a lot of people out there, you know, questioning, it, especially questioning the steal rating. It's people still questioning. I don't even know why he's still questioning the close shot rating. Um, a lot of us YouTubers already showcased and showed you guys that close shot does not mean nothing. And they finally came out this year and told us what close shot actually means. So that's another another rating you don't need. As you guys can see, though, post facilitator 85 overall. I mean, I don't know what badges he has or what's his badge count, but I have a low strength and I have a low interior defense. Now, you're going to see in this gameplay, all he is going to try and do is bag me down. Now, you guys see I was a 94 overall as, as well. I'm only a superstar one in this gameplay. Um, if you watch videos on my channel, you can see that um i am a 99 overall on this build already green light showed it down low in the comment section once again showcasing that ankle breaker and how deadly it is this year i know it's a lot of people out there mad that ankle breaker is just so efficient this year but you got to put it on your ankle braces now to be fair to be very fair I've already hit up the devs about making ankle braces more powerful, giving it a buff because it definitely is irrelevant right now because if you have on Hall of Fame ankle braces and you get your ankles taken, it's like, why do I have this badge on? But that's why I told you guys in them build videos. Now you can see me big body, you know what I'm saying? Big post defender Raheem down low in the paint, even though he got the bucket. That's the first example right there that interior defense is not connected to what it means to have your block rating upgraded intimidator trying to get a good shot contest that's what it's about now you see he got me right there on that move that's from not having interior defense so so pretty much all in all when it comes down to guard and post facilitators on this game it really doesn't even matter if he has badges or not you know he's able to back me down off of the simple fact that i have no strength but as you guys can see i'm getting shot contests you know i'm getting stops down there and that's because my block rating is up uh, upgraded um my wingspan is maxed out on this build so i have a seven four wingspan on this build i don't have a seven or a six ten i have a seven four wingspan um i forgot what my block rating is and i only got gold intimidator in this gameplay so uh this video is just about showing you guys and giving you guys a clear example, bro, that some of us YouTubers, especially me, 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 you know what I'm saying? Humbly, me, bro, like I, I played this game. I played 10,000 games every year, bro. At the end of the day, if you don't care about watching my videos, if you don't care about watching my gameplay videos, when it comes to my build videos or dropping knowledge on this game, listen to me, listen to what I'm talking about. Now you can see they, they, they nerfed. I get another shot contest once again. My defense is just, you know, it's up there. But they nerfed pull the chair. So I, th I think it was on 2K19 or no, 2K20. In the beginning of 2K20, when you pulled the chair, you pretty much got an automatic turnover. And that I feel like that's how it should be, you know. If somebody's constantly backing me down, they don't have no other moves besides just trying to back me down and I pulled the chair on time, they should be punished for that. So pulling the chair is pretty much irrelevant in NBA 2K right now and currently. But as you guys can see, I get another shot contest. This man goes 8 for 28 in this game. And you're probably wondering if I'm going to lose or not. I'm going to tell you right now that I win this game. And it, and it just goes to show that interior defense does not need to be upgraded. Unless you're going to be playing on the 1v1 court. Um, I don't know how many of y'all out there got next gen right now. Uh, hopefully some of you guys get next gen so we can get more people on this game, get these, get the city and these affiliations packed out. But when you get next gen and you make your build, do not waste it. Watch all my build videos, watch all my informational videos. And when you make your first build, do not upgrade close shot. Do not upgrade interior defense. Do not upgrade your strength. 
and then don't upgrade what's the other one it's oh the only, only reason you will upgrade your post control is if you're trying to get a certain amount of finishing badges and you're tweaking your build in a certain way if you've seen my pg build video I upgraded my post control on my pg so i was able to get seven to eight finishing badges but as you guys can see man he's he got 14 points and 10 rebounds and he's seven for 14 and he's barely barely in position to win this game um like i said i don't know i don't know what badges he had on his build because i i didn't lose so i didn't get to check what his build was looking like but like i said i have gold intimidator in my blocks you know what i'm saying upgrading i'm getting stops on him in the paint i mean he's not doing nothing too crazy like with the post moves and stuff but he's backing me all the way down to where I'm not able to defend it at all unless I time my shot contest. So if you if you seen my rebound and wing on NBA 2K20 and you watch my rebound and wing gameplay, it's kind of similar to how it is in, in next gen right now. It's all about timing your shot contest. You know, I don't even have on pogo stick in this gameplay. Pogo stick definitely would have helped me out entirely. Pogo stick probably would have I would have got the ball back way faster with pogo stick on. But if you watch my rebound and win gameplay, it's, it's the same, bro. Like you, you just got to have stick skill, stick control, and, and time your shot contest properly. As you guys see, I get a perfectly good shot contest right there. Put him on the floor, and I'm pretty sure he has his strength upgraded on his post facilitator build. So once again, man, um, hopefully when you guys make your builds, you listen to me. Don't waste your attribute points on um, strength. Don't waste it on interior defense. And, and, and anybody else got to say something about interior defense or strength, bring them to this gameplay. Like I said, he's he's getting me back down. He's backing me down. But once he gets down there, he has to make a good shot attempt. He has to go up with something smart because I'm down there, bro. I'm not, a, I'm not a baby. You know, I'm a big body down there, even though I don't have no strength. So... Um, all in all, that's all I've been trying to do for y'all this year, especially with the build videos. I'm going I'm to come out with some more gameplay videos. I know a lot of people don't have next gen, so they're not really trying to support the videos like that. And that's cool. And I understand. Hopefully, when you do get next gen, you come back to the channel, um, check out my videos, come back and listen to what I said as far as when it came to making builds. And um, Hopefully y'all enjoy 2K after, you know, a certain amount of patches because we are on patch three or patch four. I can't tell. And um, the game is smoother than what it started off as. So um, I will say once again, uh, strength does not matter. It doesn't matter at all. I still get crazy amount of contact dunks on this build without strength. And I give you guys a whole gameplay on somebody going eight for 28 in the paint. <laughs> 8 for 28 in the paint, bro. Didn't take one jump shot, and I still won that game. And only had four rebounds, and they had 18 rebounds. So, um, y'all be easy. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Uh, any comments you want answered, let me know down low in the comments. And I'm going to catch up with y'all in the next one. Y'all be easy. Stay safe. Stay blessed. I'm gone. One.